I don't know much, but the one thing I'm sure of is the people want arrow videos. So when you guys voted on arrow shots last week, I couldn't skip the opportunity or put an arrow in the title one more time. Nah, in all seriousness, guys, today we're going to be breaking down the step-by-step -step of how to place your shots consistently using arrow. But if you're part of the small percentage of people that are not sub to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a sub down below. We're on the road to 100k, guys. It's completely free to sub, and you can always unsub whenever you want. Anyways, let's talk about how to execute arrow shots effectively in Rocket League. All right, guys, before I break down the step-by-step -step of how I execute arrow shots, I wanted to jump in here and talk about the number one mistake I see people make when it comes to arrow shots. Now, if you didn't know, I'm streaming live on Twitch every Sunday, so if you want to talk to me in real time and ask me questions, that's the best way to do it. But back to the reason I'm here. The number one mistake I see people make when it comes to arrow shots is going for the shot but not really understanding why it works. And so I'll show you what ends up happening. When people don't understand why arrow shots work um, and, and they want to go for them, they'll go at the ball and just start arrowing randomly and flip into it. Guys, the reason arrow shots work is not because of just arrow being good, right? There's actually a couple specific things you need to know about arrow shots that are going to allow you to pull them off and shoot with greater accuracy. So let's talk about that. Without arrow shots, you have two options when you get a bad angle towards the ball and you need to make a shot. The first option is you can just loop around the ball and try to take a different line at the cost of getting to the shot slower. The alternative is you can go straight to the ball and shoot, but this way, the power of your shot is going to be drastically reduced. But with the power of arrow shots, we can actually bridge that gap and create a shot that is quick on the approach but also powerful when we get to it. If you've seen any of my arrow left videos, this explanation that I'm about to give is gonna sound very similar. You see, just like with arrow aerials, arrow shots are not the only way to do things, right? You can aerial without using arrow, and in the same way, you can shoot without using arrow. However, adding arrow gives you greater control of your car and can help get you adjusted to that position you wanna be in before you flip and take the shot quicker than if you can only rotate and pitch your car without rolling it. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense and now you can understand why the pros use aerial shots, but if not, that's totally fine. I'm gonna break down the step-by-step -step of how I execute aerial shots with one key shortcut, just like with my aerial left guides. All right, guys, in terms of the step-by-step, -step, in my mind, there are three steps to a good arrow shot. One, the approach, two, the actual arrow, and three, the flip. So before we can get to the arrow, let's start with step one and talk about the approach. Now, this is the thing that I see so many people get wrong, but just like with normal shots, you have to remember that with arrow shots, in order to hit the ball where you want it to go, you have to approach your shot from the opposite side. And I know that might sound confusing, but this is actually really, really intuitive, right? If you wanna shoot the ball in the top right corner of the net, you need to strike it from the bottom left side to shoot it there. Similarly, if you wanna shoot the ball to the left side of the net, you have to strike it from the right side to send it off that way. So all this means is when you're developing your approach to the ball, right, you can take a very direct path because we're gonna use air roll to cover the angle part, but you still have to make sure you're striking the ball from the right side or nothing else will matter. All right, moving on to step two, the second step of the air roll shot is the actual air roll piece. And just like with air roll left, because air roll shots are a fluid motion, there are many ways you could get your car to the same position, but rotate it differently along the way. However, if you're just getting started with arrow, I'm gonna give you a shortcut to execute your arrow shots, just like I did in my arrow aerial videos to help get you started. And the shortcut is as follows. If you wanna shoot the ball to the left, what you're going to do with your joystick is jump while pulling down and slightly to the right, and then tap 
air roll. What this is going to do is it's going to turn your car slightly to the right and then holding down air roll while you're pushing down to the right on your joystick will expose the top left of your car. So basically what this shortcut is doing is it's turning you away from the ball slightly and then air rolling to expose the corner of your car to strike the ball with the most power. In the same way, if you want to hit the ball to the right using an air roll shot, jump while pulling down and to the left on your joystick for just a brief moment, and then add on air roll to the mix to essentially wrap your car around the ball and prepare to strike it in the corner. Hopefully that makes sense, but if it doesn't, no worries. My best recommendation for you would be take a close look at my controller overlay while I execute this mechanic, and then try to translate that over to your training in free play. But moving on to step three, if you've done everything right from here, your car should be in the perfect striking position to hit the ball. From here, it's just a matter of timing that flip to make sure you strike the ball with the most forward momentum. If you've done everything right up until this point, your car should connect with the ball at the front left bumper or the front right bumper. Which means, if you want to get the most power, you have to translate as much of your forward momentum as you can through the ball using a diagonal flip forward to the left or forward to the right. And while in my mind this is the easiest part of the air roll shot, you still want to make sure you're flipping through the ball in the right direction, otherwise you're going to be missing out on a lot of power. But with all that being said, you could have followed perfectly along with the video up until this point, and at the end of the day, that's not going to mean anything if you can't execute this mechanic in practice. So what I want you to do now is pull up the Aerial Shots training pack by a guy named Yiza. Now this is my favorite training pack because it ramps up in difficulty pretty steadily, and it's great for beginners all the way up to pretty experienced players when it comes to training Aerial Shots. So give this pack a shot and make sure to be thinking about the three steps that I mentioned earlier in order to compose an effective arrow shot. And as you're training, don't feel bad if you find that you're messing up. Even when I do this training pack, I send my shots wide all the time. But my number one recommendation is as you're training these shots, really pay attention to what you're messing up on every time you miss a shot. This way, you can consciously correct what you're doing wrong and learn faster than if you were just going through the motions without actually thinking about it. And remember, less is really more when it comes to air roll. Oftentimes, you don't have to air roll much to get the angle you want to hit. So really try not to overdo it in this pack. But give this a little bit of time, work your way up through the training pack, consult the way I approach these shots if you're having trouble, and stick to the formula I've outlined today. I promise you're going to learn this mechanic way, way quicker than if you had it. If you're looking for more from me, guys, I want to make sure you know my new live coaching program is currently open for applications until the end of the month. So if you're interested in working with me, head down to the description as soon as the video ends and send in an application for the program. If you're picked, you'll get to hop on a one-on-one -on -one interview with me to talk details. From here on out, guys, the best way to get in contact with me is going to be to talk to me when I'm live on Twitch. I'll be live every Sunday, so make sure to follow me to get notified when I go live. Also, I'm doing a massive push over on my Instagram and TikTok, and all my other socials will be linked in the description below, so make sure to follow if you want to get in on some new giveaways or be featured on my socials. But to those of us who can shoot powerfully and consistently from any angle, to us I say, rank is coming. Cheers, guys.